Hi, I'm Lori from LoriThayer.com, and today I want to talk to you, um, kind of telling you about something you may not know about me. And so this has to do with my regular full-time job. I work as a software tester for a financial company, and my team of developers, testers, database administrators, and sysadmins, about 10 people, works very closely together, and our small company of about 45 people was acquired by a much larger company about two, three years ago. And we soon found out that they were going to be moving our office to another location. And a lot of people weren't happy about this move. Um, it was, it's not a great location to attract talent in our area for when we needed to do that. And it's a much longer commute for some people. So we actually lost a fair number of our team members. Um, but instead of, you know, getting real down on it and upset, I decided, you know, let's take the opportunity to make this new environment even better because they were buying a new or leasing a new building um, and designing it. And they had asked people, you know, if they wanted to have some input or make any requests. And my boss had kind of put that out there. And I decided, you know what, yeah, if we're going to be out in the boonies, I want to make sure that we have you know, a great environment. Why not build something that we really like? So, not having any experience in design or anything, I really um, took the lead on designing a collaborative environment that would work really well for our team, you know, and make the best of this move. So, I'm going to share with you some pictures and a little bit about how this worked. So, this is, you know, designing a collaborative environment and you can see here we um, implemented lots of whiteboards to support collaboration and to separate the areas. These whiteboards here help separate our group, we all meet in here regularly every day, from some of the other areas and hopefully help cut down the noise. Um, and you can see I did um, a lot of fun couches and areas that people would like to sit. These. Um, uh, Desk arms are very popular. We all um, fight to see who gets to sit in those chairs, you know, so you can balance your drink and your iPad and whatever else. Um, and then this is the board we use daily, our scrum board. So, in, in I was really lucky and uh, I had a great guy that I worked with um, in designing this and he was really very open to my ideas and I, I did a lot of work and research in trying to figure out what would be good for a collaborative environment as well. Um, and I tried to pick furniture that would work for us. You know, these whiteboard units easily move. They have rollers um, wherever you want, and so that's great. This table is actually three different parts that you can put together and take apart, and then these chairs um, fold up so they're easy to move around and kind of be wherever you want. And um, then I got one comfortable couches for when we sit and have meetings you know, and in an area people like to be because collaboration is very important to our team. So and then this is also another view of that main collaboration area. And also in the midst of our desks, you can see this is the kind of desks that we have. It's a very open environment so that we can all um, talk to each other well or easily and um, but in the middle of this desk area, we also have these whiteboards so we can easily make notes. And then there's another one of these um, three-piece tables over here on the side there. So here's an, another view. Um, you can see we're actually uh, choosing some team event ideas. We're going to do a team building event soon. Um, and then we have fun things too. Is one of my coworker has these... Uh, Lego R2-D2 and stuff, and this is my boss's office, which we put the Eye of Sauron above his uh, office while he was away on vacation <laughs> quite a few months ago, and he's actually left it there. <laughs> he thinks it's funny, and we all enjoy it. We have a good time. So, um, here's another part of designing that environment. This is our small meeting room um, built instead of like a table in the regular thing. We put in some more comfortable chairs and couches, and we also had fun naming these rooms as well. We'll get to that later. So here's another view um, of that 
that tri table. I actually like to call them a Star Trek table because <laughs> that's what it makes me think of. Uh, we also have desks um, for the people that wanted it that adjust. These are sit-stand units so that people can have the kind of environment we want. We have about three people on our team who stand 99% of the time and some of us who stand once in a while like me but not as often as I should. <laughs> so here's our, our uh, the bigger meeting room, Rivendale. Um, I get to name these with input from the team. Um, and we made it fun. We sp I spelled it wrong on here. <laughs> it's from Lord of the Rings, if you don't know. Rivendale, and then um, the other one is actually the Shire. I think we'll get to a picture of that later. So this is a picture of all of us um, in here in the meeting area, and we actually use this whiteboard to project things um, as we talk. Oh, and I guess I don't have a picture of the Shire, so that is the last photo here. Um, so it was kind of interesting. I designed this area. It turned out really well. People really like it. And the very interesting thing is, is when they had the ribbon cutting for our office, there were some grumbles from the execs and people about the non-standard furniture. Because it's, uh, we're quite different from kind of a, the state company who owns us, if you will. But they have, um, this in this area was finished and we moved in in May of 2013 so we've been there almost a year not quite a year now um, but even in that time other areas of this company have started to redesign spaces and use elements of what we did here um, I think there's at least three or four that we know of already that have done that and used implements and um, I get emails and questions about this area, and my boss does all the time sending pictures. So you know what? What can you get out of your comfort zone and do and try that's just new and different and, you know, give it a try. I, I certainly never saw, you know, designing a, a workspace <laughs> anywhere in my future, but you know what? somebody needed to do it so we had a good space to create a good feel for our team and have something good out of kind of a, a bad situation where none of us were very happy about the move but you know I decided let's make the best of it and it's turned out for, for having a good environment it's turned out really well for us um, and people are really happy and I had a lot of fun doing it and it's fun to see the space and be like wow you know I, I created this and I, I certainly had help and I had input from other people. It wasn't created in a vacuum um, and luckily had budget. But, you know, wow, I, I did this. This wouldn't have been done at all if I had not raised my hand and said, you know what, I want to get involved in this project. How can I get involved and pursued it? So you can make a difference too. So step out of your comfort zone.